This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and covers elements 8.4, 8.5 and 8.6 for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is about file attachments. I have here our Gmail account up and we're on the Compose and Email screen. Now I've touched on this in a previous tutorial but if we want to attach a file using Gmail, underneath the subject box is the words attach a file. On a different email client it might be insert a file and you might have to look around to find that. So if we click on attach a file, a box appears and in this box we've got our documents library. You might have to hunt on the left hand side of the box to get your documents up. But I'm going to attach a file called Maganga is great. So I click on the file that I want to attach to our email. That goes into the file name box at the bottom and if I click open that file will attach itself to our email. If we look at the file we can see what it is, it's called Makanga is great and it is an RTF file, that's the application RTF rich text file and the size is one kilobyte. Now I want you to look to the left of this there is the paperclip icon. Now, the paperclip denotes that a file is attached to this email. So whenever you see the paperclip you know that a file is attached to the email. Now I'm not going to bother continuing and putting the text and the address into this email. I just wanted to demonstrate that that's how you attach a file with Gmail. Now let's go to our inbox and take a look at our inbox because we've received one email. As you can see we've got a new email arrived and in bold it's from Philip Taylor and moving along the title of the email is test message for tutorial and then we've got the start of the text of that message which is Dear Maganga Team test email with enclosed file attachment regards Phil and to the right we can see that there's our paper clip now that denotes that we've got at least one file attached to that email now this is quite important I know who it's from I can see that the message is an ordinary message and I would expect that sort of message so I'm quite happy to open that email and I'll go into details of why a little later on okay I've opened the email and there we have the title at the top who it's from and the text and then at the bottom and this is the layout with Gmail, your email client may vary slightly I've got two file attachments and the first file is thegirls.jpg and the second one is a curriculum vitae document now I know that the girls JPG is a photograph now what I want to show you is the difference in the size of these files the girls JPG is 4 586k that's 4586 kilobytes now there are 1024 kilobytes for every megabyte so that file is over 4 megabytes in size and in contrast the curriculum vitae document is 52 kilobytes so that just demonstrates that photographs and documents are quite different in size and this is important because every email client will have a limit to the size of email that you can send and with Gmail it is 25 megabytes so really you can only send four or five pictures with an email documents and you can send quite a few documents within that limit and just to demonstrate I'm going to open that file and the picture file opens with a picture of the girls with a background of Tembi for those who may recognize it so that's a picture file that has been sent via email so you can see 
Having the ability to attach files to our emails means that we can send documents quickly and also share photographs and videos with our family and friends. So it can be extremely useful to us. However, there is a downside. Unfortunately, file attachments can be used to spread viruses and other harmful software programs that can hurt our computer. So what is a virus? Well, a virus can be used as a general term for anything that's harmful to our computer. But if we go to the Microsoft Safety and Security Center, which can be found online, what Microsoft say is computer viruses are small software programs that are designed to spread from one computer to another and to interfere with computer operation. A virus might corrupt or delete data on your computer, use your email program to spread itself to other computers or even erase everything on your hard disk. Computer viruses are often spread by attachments in email messages or instant messaging messages. That is why it is essential that you never open email attachments unless you know who it's from and you are expecting it. Viruses can be disguised as attachments of funny images, greeting cards or audio and video files. So we know what a virus is. Now what we need to do is we need to be able to protect ourselves to stop these programs affecting us. And a couple of golden rules are Never open a file attachment if you are unsure who sent the email. So if you receive an email, you don't know who it's from, you see the paperclip file attachment on there, don't open it. And if an attachment from a known email address seems suspicious, check with the person who sent it before opening it. So if you receive an email from somebody you know and it just doesn't look right, try contacting the person who sent it. So those are two golden rules that you should always adhere to. But there is something else that you need to have in place and it is essential. And that is to have good internet protection software. Now we at Maganga recommend McAfee. There are however a number of other good internet protection softwares out there. But you certainly need to have something in place to keep yourself protected from harmful software programs that are being pushed around on the internet. Okay, so that's file attachments. Thanks very much.